Hello and welcome by another video of the Orchid Saga. And today is uh, going to be a day of a uh, quite a big task for me. Because I need to do my uh, three monthly update on the reservoirs of all these beautiful fells. So that's a bit of a task. Um, I'm not completely sure how I can uh, measure, uh, manage to film this uh, very well because there are so many of them. But I will try my best so we have an indication of how they do and um, how uh, we can uh, have a look at the root system, etc. But yeah, I need to check all the reservoirs, all the individual reservoirs of all these pots. That's how I uh, have my uh, self uh, of my custom made cell watering system going. So I thought it would be nice to do an update on them. But as you can see, we have a lot of spikes, roots, blooms. So bear with me. I hope I uh, I can uh, do this without breaking anything. But as you can see, some spikes are incredibly long. So yeah, um, I'm going to do the measurements inside of the orchid room. So let's uh, head over there and. Um, yeah, we'll, t we'll take it from there and I will see, I will try to manage uh, to film this as good as I can. So I will take every single one of them over to into my uh, orchid room. I will put them uh, above the sink. Let's put this away. We don't need this. I have this rack that will cover this. Like this, so if they have any aerial roots and they, the fails have a lot, they can hang in between uh, these uh, wires I think I don't know how to call them but uh, that's how I try <laughs> to uh, prevent to uh, break any roots and I can put the inner pot with the orchid here so I have my hands free and I can uh, check the uh, reservoir in the outer pot then I head over to my schedule and I fill in the measurements and I mark with a C if they get some calcium and I um, Put down the part per millions and the pH so I can check. This was uh, in June, so I'm uh, a little behind schedule, but I can compare and I can see what uh, what's happened. But we will have a look at it this later on. But I have quite some fails that need doing, as you can see, <laughs> a lot of them, and I have even have some new ones that I need to add in. I have some uh, clean. Uh, Forms here, so I can uh, new forms here. I can fill in the, the new ones here. So let's uh, let's start. I will uh, figure out a setup, and then uh, we uh, we will start measuring. So I think this is a uh, nice setup. I try to, uh, uh, like I said, find a way to film this uh, um, easily. But this is my parts per million meter, and this is my pH meter. So I have my tools here. I can clean them while I'm working with it. I don't uh, do not disinfect these tools in between because it's way too much work. I must admit, but what I do, I flush them very well underneath the tap, and I do this for three years now. So, as far as I know, I didn't have any problem with this system so far. So uh, let's grab the first orchid. So, and I have the first one out of many to follow, but um, this is my Karen Alba, if I pronounced it correctly. Uh, uh, no, Aloha, I'm sorry. With a beautiful spike on and uh, some beautiful aerial roots. New roots growing, so this is uh, doing fairly well as far as I can see. But let's have a look inside of the reservoir. And like I said, it's a little bit uh, getting used to because of the, the roots. I hope you can see this uh, well. So I just take this out. But actually, we can have a look at the. We have a root here. I'm sorry, a green root there. And these are a little bit blacking up, darkening up. I'm sorry. So probably some older roots, but it's making quite a few new ones. So let's do the measurement. First, I put my pH meter in so that it can settle now. And then I do my parts per million meter. It says 85. So this is what I'm going to write down now. 85. 
and now we're not I'm not going to do all of them in this detail and with this much detail but just to give an uh, example and put this on hold this is seven I'm sorry whoops the glare seven one nine so everything above seven is okay I need a reading between 7 and 7.5 so this is 7.9 1.9, I'm sorry, 19 so that's okay I'm gonna flush this as I will do this one so this uh, orchid is uh, do very, doing very well, it doesn't have a high pH meeting and um, not, not too high and a parts per million so it's uh, really uh, growing and eating very well so let's uh, let's do the other ones I'm going to speed this up now but I hope you can have a look uh, look at the orchids and the roots etc but uh, like I said I'm, I'm going to speed it up a little bit because I have around 60 of them so <laughs> so let's go So this one had a parts per million of uh, 85, so that's okay, but this is what I'm checking, why I'm checking them. Uh, I'm sorry, oh the glare is terrible here. 471 I believe, let me check, yes. A pH rating of 4.71, so that need, needs adjusting, this is terrible for the roots. If it stays too long. At this uh, level, I'm going to kill all those roots. So therefore, that is why I invented this, uh, this system for me, so that it really works. I'm going to grab some uh, calcium dolomite, and I'm going to grab a little bit of this. Almost a fourth, I think, of this little, little teeny tiny uh, scoop, spoon, whatever. And put that in there, and then... The magic happens. Let's stir this with the pH meter and I hope you can see this. I'll try to film. Yeah, I'm sorry for the glare. And I think you can see going that pH going up. 6.2 already and 3, 6.3 and that's what I want because I had a way too low pH so therefore I use that called calcium dolomite powder and this will help getting that pH around 7 again so I can go for another 3 months with this orchid so this orchid is good to go again and here is that second spike first time that I have two spikes on them growing at the same time this is one of my oldest it was a rescue, a res, res, <laughs> rescue from the second-hand store, but it's really uh, has thick leaves, shiny leaves. It's uh, doing very well, I think, and a lot of roots are growing, and it has already quite long roots. And um, so yeah, this is uh, this is how I uh, I take care of them every uh, three to four months, and it works uh, really well for me. So let's grab another one, because we have a, quite a lot to do still. <laughs>
guys. For now, this is the last one of the, of the batch. And this one as well has beautiful roots. So let's uh, do the checkup and uh, then I will uh, make uh, an outro for this video. So this is what uh, is left in a sink. Uh, a few dead roots. We have a few. We had a few uh, dead roots in a in a pot, but not too much. Nothing uh, that uh, that would concern me. So this is okay. And I also did a little bit of maintenance while I was at it. So not even that much as well. And here we have the list. These are my notes. And this is so basically the system. So I checked them last time uh, the, uh, on the sixth of June. And now it was the 27th of September, and I can then see what this one did. This one did eat a little bit, the pH was uh, dropped a little bit, I'm sorry. It's the uh, Karen, uh, yeah, I, I, I noticed it, uh, I uh, registered this one as an Alba. It's not the Alba, it's Aloha, Karen Aloha, but I'm sorry for that. But uh, that's an example, uh, just one. Uh, we can pick another one. Uh, let's see if I have a good example. This is the uh, little lady Ellen. And this one didn't need calcium back in June, but this time it did because it had a pH reading of 5.9. Back then it was 6.7 and a half. Normally, nowadays I do give them a little bit calcium anyway because I know that after three months it will be low, too low. So therefore, uh, but I adjust it. And that's this, where the C is for. If I have a BC, that's a, uh, a little bit of calcium means that. So I know this one did get a little bit. Uh, about three months later, it still had a pH of 7.4, 130 parts per million. So I didn't get any calcium. So this is basically uh, my system. And I have every single orchid that I have growing in self-watering listed somewhere, depending on the family, of course, the genre, but uh, these for uh, today were obviously my Vanilliopsis. So let's have a quick look at how many Argus no, uh, really needed a update uh, in the pH, just to give a uh, general idea. Uh, I have one here, so that's one. Mm. Those were pretty, uh, pretty much okay. This one needed an update as well. That makes two, three, and let's have a look. Four, five, six, seven, eight. I need to do that one so that I don't know. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12. That one didn't need 11. That one did get some calcium, but did not really needed it so far. So 11 and 12. This one needed uh, this was 5.9, so that was way too low. Oh, way too low. It was too low. Uh, 12, 13, 5.1. That is absolutely too low. 13, 14, 15, 15 here, that's 4.9, 15, and 16, and those are the new ones, so 16, um, out of how many did we measure, 56, here it is, we have two that, um, aren't here anymore, so uh, 40 were okay and 16 needed an update out of, uh, f uh, yeah, like I said, 56 in total. So that's not much, but those 16 really needed an update, otherwise I would uh, lose the root system. And this is why I'm so happy with my whiteboard, because I now could make little notes in between uh, checking and I missed five, these five I need to check in a few days. I missed them because they had, didn't have any water in their reservoir left. So they did uh, dry up completely. They weren't, uh, they weren't dry inside of the pot, so luckily their roots are okay. But, so that tells me that I need to water a little bit more uh, 
often. But uh, yeah, I now uh, could note this uh, on my, uh, put these notes on my uh, whiteboard and I can have a look in a, in a few days. So that's uh, very handy, I must admit. So and I didn't check all of them, like these guys and those and that one for example, because those are fairly new, so they didn't need a check yet. But uh, I did put them on a list. I had two files still on a list that were uh, that um, are dead, so I uh, they died off. Um, so I did uh, skip them from the list, and that means that I have a total of 65 files at the moment. Uh, <laughs> I fought around 60, probably something in the late uh, late 50s, but uh, yeah. 65. Um, this is my biggest uh, family of orchids, um, of genus I should say, but uh, yeah, I really really love them and um, yeah, I try not to buy as much of them anymore, but I really enjoy how uh, they look, the blooms, how they uh, grow, those beautiful big spikes, etc. And um, yeah, I, I really enjoy this wall of fells here in my, uh, my uh, greenhouse especially when they start to spike and those beautiful roots etc really beautiful i think um so yeah that's uh, what i do i must admit i also uh, we always learn i think um i had a little bit not really a hard time but i didn't know how to best film this uh while i was working uh, with my uh, my fails um checking uh, checking the reservoirs etc i I came up with a plan, so I will do that with my next uh, next um, checkup, and that will be my Miltonias. I need to lay down my papers because I need to, I like to have my hands free. <laughs> but anyhow, so I uh, I think I'm going to do little teeny tiny blocks, um, if that makes sense, of video from each orchid, and I will put those. In one and make one big video out of it. So we have a look at every single orchid. I hope I can manage that uh, within a, a nice time limit so that we don't get a way too big video. If that should happen, I probably will uh, make a few sections out of it part one, two, and probably part three if necessary. But I try to make it uh, one video. It may um, get a bit bigger. But I, first of all, I like to uh, see the, for myself the progress, so I like, therefore, filming, in, filming them, so I can uh, refer to them uh, uh, after a free, few months, and uh, who knows, in a few years I can have a look back at, uh, at uh, these videos. And I also think, personally, I like those types of videos, because those give me the most information, so I really like to uh, watch videos where people take the time and have a really look at a argot or a, a few more, the roots, and they can tell a story um, about that argot. For example, uh, this one, it's beautiful blooming, but it doesn't have many leaves. I have it for a few years in, uh, in my collection, so it had a few setbacks. I didn't uh, talk about it yet, but I probably will in the next update. So we have an idea why those leaf aren't, uh, leaves aren't uh, as big as they are, just for an example. So I, like I said, I'm still learning. If you have any ideas how, how I can do this better, uh, if you, um, yeah, let me, please let me know. If you think it's going to work, my new setup, my new filming style, um, or not. Uh, I, I'm open to suggestions, but I think I'm going to film little teeny tiny blocks of every orchid that I have. So also the next uh, lock that I need to do are my Miltonias who are living over there. It's a way smaller family, so I can uh, test it, but I will uh, make little teeny tiny uh, updates, uh, check them, maybe not uh, do all the results, but just talk about and have a quick view uh, and look at the root system, uh, etc. Something like that. That's just an idea and I will uh, try it and we will see how this goes. So that was a little bit of explanation, but I thought I uh, would like to share, if I uh, should share, share it. And uh, then we have a nice uh, theme as well on my uh, channel, because this, uh, this checking that we just did, I do that every three to four months, like I uh, uh, said a few times uh, before already. But So yeah, we would have every uh, few months a checkup uh, of some genre that uh, 
needs to be done. So I think that's nice that we can have a closer look at the uh, the uh, progress, etc. Yeah, I was a little bit distracted because this is so amazing. The blooms are so big. So yeah, I was a little bit distracted, uh, distracted by that one. But anyhow, I love them all, don't get me wrong, but those blooms are so big. Uh, this is it for now. Thank you for watching. I will try my best and next time it will be probably uh, a bit better than this time. So thank you for watching and I hope to see you at one of my next videos. Bye bye.